are located at the top of the tower in the observation room. What is up here guys, this is Eurox DPR, and in today's video we're going to be playing Mass Effect Andromeda. Today we're having a look at a Explorer Profile build, and this is one of the most overpowered builds in this game. Um, I will show you what armor I use and which weapons and powers I cope it up with. And this is a really strong build, you can actually use it for a lot of purposes, any kind of enemy, you can actually just destroy every enemy in the highest difficulty in the game okay so starting up with the powers we have the charge ability the turbocharge ability and the energy drain i use the charge ability to actually move around the map and restore shields the energy drain ability to restore shields and actually restore my health a little bit because the gun takes a little bit off and the turbocharge to actually boost my fire rate and actually destroy enemies in a couple of seconds. As you can see the difficulty is set on insanity and this is pretty much an OP build because it can destroy an ascendant in um, insanity difficulty in a couple of seconds as you can see in the gameplay. This is looking ugly, we're in trouble here! That's for every soul you destroyed! Now actually moving on to the um, build itself, I have the Andromeda Explorer um, rank 6 and this is really powerful as you can see there are all the bonuses that it gives. And for the weapons I use the Hornet uh, SMG, I can use it with laser or without laser. I believe the one that appears in the background is actually the bullet type, it is set to automatic. Now the Sidewinder pistol, it's also set to automatic and it's actually really powerful. I just use this in the scream cases that I am left without ammunition or something else. Now the main gun, it's actually the N7 Valkyrie and I have it set to a beam, so it shoots a laser. And the actual fire rate has been increased with mods, of course the in-game mods that you can actually apply to your weapons and this is like the most OP weapon in the game. Now moving on to the uh, helmet, I have the Helios Icon Helmet 10 and this has a lot of power damage and weapon damage which is really useful in combat and then we have the Helios Icon Armor and with the Fusion mod of Adrenaline. This mod is quite useful because it restores all of your abilities when you kill someone so it's really useful in battle and this is the build. The security terminal has locked down access to the head tower. The terminal is protected by a force field. I have marked the location of the three head generators that power all the generators will allow you to shut down the security terminal. 